G'day guys and welcome back to Montage Sports today. We are at the wonderful Optus Stadium for the first preliminary final between the Melbourne Demons and the Geelong Cats. Unbelievable feeling, unbelievable atmosphere and cannot wait for this game. Tonight we are going to be barracking hard for the Ds to break, make their first grand final in 21 years and their win, to win their first premiership in 57 years. I'm here with my brother Levi. Levi, how are you feeling right now? I'm very excited. I haven't been to a preliminary final before. I feel like I'm walking on air. Yeah, good saying, Levi. I feel like I'm walking on air too. Unbelievable feeling. But sadly, I reckon that Geelong are going to win by five points just because they're a great great finals team, very greatly experienced, and they're, they're, bred, for, they're bred for success. I'm going to tip Geelong to win by five points, as I just said. And, yeah, Levi, who are you tipping tonight? I know this is a bit harsh with all the Damien supporters. I reckon Geelong are going to win by three points. Yeah, same like, I reckon it's going to be a close game, but Geelong are just a good team. They're greatly experienced, as I said before, and they are very good in close game situations. The only close game I remember them losing is the Max Gorn kick after the siren um, against Geelong in round 23, which was an unbelievable game. And I hope that same thing happens tonight. I hope Melbourne get over the line, but I'm... Not feeling very confident tonight, and I reckon that Geelong will win. Unbelievable atmosphere down here. I think it's about there's about 15,000, 20,000 people here right now, but I cannot wait for the 60,000 people capacity. It's sold out, and I cannot wait. I really hope that the Demons get over the line because they really deserve it, and I hope that they're not heartbroken. I'll be heartbroken if um, Geelong end up winning and um, crushing the D's hopes of a grand final upset and um yeah like Gorney deserves it Petrarca deserves it they fought all year but and they haven't won a premiership yet whereas Joel Selwood won his three premierships it just frustrates me how good he is and how successful he is and I hope that Geelong um cannot get the job done tonight I hope Melbourne do and yeah I really hope that Melbourne I hope it's a close game but I really hope that Melbourne do end up winning and make their way through to the grand final, which is going to be played here at the stadium in, I think it's 15 days time, two weeks, one day. Here is the exclusive Fox Footy before game coverage. Gather, give us away. Okay, so it's about five minutes before the bounce down. I'm team to walk into the national anthem. I'm here with my little little brother Xavier. Xavier, who are you gonna who are you going for tonight? Demons. Going for the demons. How are you feeling? Good. You think the demons will win? Yep. So there's an insight from my little little brother, and he is a very smart person.
of time here and unbelievable start to the Melbourne Demons. It is currently five goals three, 33 to Geelong, one goal straight, six. Geelong kicked the first goal of the term, first goal, first goal of the game. And Melbourne kicked five in a row. Unbelievable scenes. Hope it keeps on going. I don't want to see a flogging, but Melbourne are looking extremely sharp here. And I hope they can keep keep it up and keep the momentum up. You missed the flogging. And Melbourne are up by 29 points. It's been a very enjoyable game so far, and it has been a massive surprise. Todd, if you get a couple of goals, Jack Vining, 20 to disposal, and he's playing an absolute, absolute for game at the moment. And um, Melbourne are on fire. As they just got to be aware that Geelong are the comeback kings. They're one of those teams who can pile four or five goals in a few minutes, and then the game all of a sudden is back on, and it's a close game. So hopefully they keep up the momentum, keep playing how they're playing, and hopefully they can stay on top and make their first grand final in 21 years. And when hopefully next week or the year week after, they can win their first grand final in 57 years. <laughs> Unbelievable quarter here, it's three quarter time, and Melbourne are up by 78 points, kicking eight goals to sit, and they are going to make their first grand final since the year 2000, and they're in the running for their first flag since 1964. I think they're going to be the favourites, and I cannot wait for this last quarter. The atmosphere is electric, and I cannot wait for the final siren when all the Melbourne supporters, the flag, the flag and success is the prize. Melbourne supporters go mad, and um, yeah, they're gonna be so happy, and I'm gonna feel so happy for them. It's Saturday morning here, the morning after the game, and last night, unreal feeling, absolutely loved it. Massive thing for the Demons and their club, and cannot wait for the game two weeks' time, hopefully get the job done. And this is mainly to all the Melbourne Demons supporters out here. 
if you live interstate and can't go to the game and you're willing to give out barcodes, willing to help, DM me on Instagram. I'd really love to go. And um, just DM me on Instagram. Hope you enjoyed my match day vlog and see you in the next one.